let me share with you guys something that I notice so often in, when you're driving in Nigeria here a lot of people don't keep to their lanes you know and if you are the type that keeps your lane and your uh, somebody's encroaching and you're honking your horn they get very pissed you know like why is he honking his horn meanwhile the guy has drifted from his lane and he's in your lane and he's upset that he's drifted into your lane <laughs> he's not even aware that he has drifted that's most of the time when you drive you just see it okay let's look at the guy in front of us now he has been drifting his tires has almost gone off to the other side now he's coming back again they just keep drifting look he has drifted has drifted okay maybe he's finally going to that side now without indicating that he's actually going there if there's anything in front of him that is hindering him he's going to drift back again <laughs> Oh my, <laughs> crazy driving. I, I think I just want to show this. Uh, it's interesting, you know. One of those things you find, probably not just here, maybe most part of the world, people drive that way, I don't know. But here, this is what I've noticed and I'm sharing with you guys. See? And there is another problem also. Roads here are not properly marked as they should. So, a lot of people don't even know where they should be on the road. The way it is marked, they don't they don't maintain their lanes. Alright, okay, we just passed uh, Centenary City. We're heading into town and uh, I'll keep showing you if I find any of those crazy stones, I'll show you. Like I saw it with the guy, this guy in the car now. Look at him, he has drifted. His tire is on the on the white line it's almost getting into this one so one has to be careful with him you don't know what his plans are let me hold my own so that you know i'm by his side okay so um like i said we're heading back into town i went to check out a place in kujay uh, not in peggy somewhere in kujay area council where my brother has the land that we need to start doing something quickly before he loses it to somebody else okay so um, let me see i think i'm getting a call but i'll wait i'll pick the call later can't be driving i'm picking a call like this guy now he's halfway here he's halfway there i know the lines are faded here so probably that may be his excuse he doesn't know which where the, the, the lines are so you can keep moving from side to side anyway if you really look carefully you will find where the lines are or the line is because even if it's faded you can still see part of it you know let me indicate the car coming behind no all right let me go this way all right i'm here i'm gonna go back to the other lane indicate I've passed it well so let me go back all right so like I was saying uh, I got a call I am just gonna ignore that call for now I'll take the call later the person is still calling I know who the person is but I'm gonna call him when I get home uh, all right okay we just passed uh, where are we exactly now? Okay, we're heading towards Lube. There is a church, one of the largest, I would say, in. Uh, let me go back this way, indicating. All right, I'm here now. One of the largest church sit with seated uh, capacity in the world, or in Nigeria, I don't know. It's somewhere in front, you can see the golden roof, somewhere there. see somewhere in front okay probably if we get to a place where i can show it properly i will all right indicating let's go back to our inner lane so that we can stay away from troublemakers <laughs> look at the church i was talking about you guys can see that there it's called the glory dome the place is called the glory dome i i don't know the name of the church again i'll put it here if i 
remember for finding dunamis yes that's what it's called dunamis so talking about drivers right and you 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 see like this guy now have drifted he's halfway here he's halfway there you know you don't know which one he is he's he's doing actually <laughs> he's halfway here he's halfway there <laughs> now he has gone back again <laughs> Oh, Ninja driving. <laughs> I know we're, we're st we, uh, somebody will say, oh, that's uh, how you guys drive in Nigeria. Yes. Some, most people drive that way. I won't say some people. And at the same time, some people also drive the proper way, you know. I, I don't know where you're from. Please make, make a comment down below. Tell us where you're from watching this video from and tell us how the driving in your place is you understand i know some people in in uh, foreign countries we say no they don't drive that way i've seen videos guys some people drive that way in your country some people drive crazy but apart from that there's something somebody said that makes some kind of sense to me a few days ago we we're talking he said he said uh, somebody he said the people do drive say in the u.s and all that you know they have laws that if you drive in certain ways, you'll be penalized or you'll be sanctioned or you'll be fined. You know, I'm indicating that this guy is drifting to my lane, so he just moved back now. You know, because they know they have all those things in place, they drive, you know, the way they should drive because they're going to be fined. But here, we're not fined, but we still drive reasonably well. I mean, think about it there's no fine. There is no, you have issues, but we still try to maintain. So you should give it to us that we're trying, because if we're not fine, that we're able to maintain, let me leave these guys back, because this guy is coming this way, the guy in blue, in the blue car. He was drifting, so I have to like leave that way, come this way. But I don't want to stay behind this guy, because I'm not seeing what's happening in front, and I don't like it that way, you know? The Tacoma, the car that I'm wishing I have, <laughs> oh, let me talk to these guys. Akura, you guys, I'm driving your car everywhere in this country. <laughs> guys, if you have a newer model, come and give me one. <laughs> now, I'll keep advertising you guys, you know, because your car, to be very honest, nobody's paying me to do this, you know, to talk about Akura. Their car is good. I'm driving it now. This is the second one I'm having. I had a 2006. Then this is a 2008 and it has done very well for me. It's because I enjoyed the first one that I bought this one. And now I travel way more than I've traveled before, you know, and I still keep going to places in this country. So here's my thinking. If you guys know these guys are Cura, please tell them that this guy, Big Wheels, drives everywhere in their car and is mentioning them and talking about them. If you guy, you don't want to sponsor, they can send us one of their cars. We'll use it traveling everywhere and talking about them, you know, because the truth is, it's good. I'm enjoying driving their car and I'm talking about it already. So why not, you know? Anyway, somebody will say, why, would, why would should they give it to you when you're already talking about them? I'm talking about them because I want them to give me one too, you know? Let me show you this guy. He just drifted into a uh, lane here. He's going back now. Okay, that's a shopping mall there called ShopRite. They call it ShopRite Luke Bay. That's to the left there. And we're back. So if you look at this guy, he's driving directly on the white line. He's drifting gradually. These guys are good today. You know, sometimes it's crazy when you see it. I mean, maybe today that I decided I'm going to make a video about it. And everyone is like... <laughs> trying to maintain their language is so cool i mean it's nice to see them driving and properly today you know and one other thing one other thing i i have seen also is that they people don't most places you go to when you're driving especially commercial vehicles right commercial vehicles most places you drive and you see commercial vehicles, they, they don't like sticking to the rules. 
and the reason why I believe they do this is because they know that the police or the, uh, the uh, law enforcement agencies don't bother with them much because you know even if you even if you go and you may say uh, arrest the guy most time they have nothing to offer so they just allow them you discover that they keep beating traffic lights keep beating different things and they don't care I tell you they don't care they, they should actually care they should be arrested or made to pay fines I mean that may even ginger a lot of them to stop doing those kind of crazy uh, driving alright I'm almost getting where I'll be very of the uh, high, this uh, uh, road to the airport or road to the city centre okay thank you for watching this short video about driving in, on Nigerian roads though it's not as crazy as I thought it was going to be today but one of those things alright I've just veered off now but ending this video here uh, see you guys in the very next one as they will say in Ishan okay we're